Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, we will look to remote config, Firebase remote config. Let's get started. Firebase remote config allow to us change some value or color or text inside our application using dynamically for example you have a one campaign and you want to change the main page banner using the remote config you can uh, do it that task for easily And I am using the Firebase Remote Config for checking the our application version. Version. Uh, first of all, of course, uh, you have to add uh, Firebase Remote Config inside your application. You can you do like that uh, inside Android Studio. You can use Tools Firebase, and after that. You can select the Firebase Remote Config and you can click these two texts and after that Firebase Remote Config will automatically add it inside your Gradle and project. And after that inside the Firebase console you have to launch the Firebase conf console of course. And as you can see I have a one parameter in here this is a uh, integer parameter and default value is 1.7 and let's look to my application And yes, this is our application. And as you can see, there is a one error in here. Please update app version. Uh, for example, you update the new version inside the Play Store, and our application checking this is the latest latest version or not. If it is not, uh, our application showing this button. If user click this button, application goes to Play Store. And as you can see, update. Let's go back to our application. And as you can see, this is the default volume 1.7, and inside the our uh, Gradle file, our version code is 7 and version name is 1.7. But this APK file is not uh, 7, this is 6 actually. Uh, let's stop our application and run again. I mean, right now it should don't be show. Uh, our bottom because right now our application is using latest version let's check it and as you can see that button is gone right now and okay we can go to the fragment for seeing the codes, as you can see, I have a one private function inside the more fragment page. 
check for updates and I am using the, this uh, check for updates in here view clicks and I am creating a Firebase remote config object uh, using the Firebase remote config that get instance and of course we And of course, Firebase uh, needs a default XML file. I created this XML file inside our raw, uh, our uh, REST folder XML uh, package inside the XML package. And I am uh, create. I am activating the Firebase in here, and we have we have a one listener in here. If it is success, this is the important part. Uh, I am getting to our latest version parameter in here and I am getting to our device current version in here as you can see using the package manager and there is a one query if query in here uh, our if our latest version is is big uh, than the current version as you can see I am doing our app comp uh, our button visibility equals to visible the default visibility value is gone right now and after that if user clicked this visibility button I am starting an intent for quest to this URL okay thanks for watching see you in the next video